Hi everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the city of Bethlehem. The ancient and modern city of Bethlehem is located in southern Israel in the hill country of Judah, just 5 miles or 8 kilometers to the south of Jerusalem. The first possible piece of extra biblical historical evidence for the city of Bethlehem is found in one of the 14th century BC documents known as the Amarna Letters in letter number 290 where the king of nearby Jerusalem, Abdu Heber, writes to the pharaoh of Egypt and complains about the loss of the city of Bit Lami, which is believed to be Bethlehem, from under his control and makes request for Egyptian military support to retake the city. A further piece of archaeological evidence is a small bula known as the Bethlehem Bula that is dated to either the 8th or 7th centuries BC and that was found at the site of the city of David in Jerusalem. This Bula retains the name Bethlehem in Hebrew upon its surface. The first mention of Bethlehem in the Bible, of which there are many, is found in Genesis chapter 35 verse 19 when it is stated that Rachel, the wife of Jacob, was buried there. Other notable mentions of Bethlehem in the Old Testament include Judges chapter 12 verses 8 to 10, where the judge Ibsan is declared to be from the town and was then buried there upon his death. Bethlehem is of course most well known in the Old Testament as the hometown of King David in 1 Samuel chapter 16, but it was also the hometown of David's great grandfather Boaz and the place where Boaz met Ruth the Moabitess which event can be found recorded in the book of Ruth. After the death of King David, his grandson, King Rehoboam of Judah, fortified the city of Bethlehem, which can be found recorded in 2 Chronicles chapter 11, verses 5-6. to At the time of Rehoboam, the city appears to have been important, as it was located on the major north-south highway that went through the hill country of Judah and it also acted as a barrier to military threats that could come from the wilderness of Judah just to the east of the city. The military importance of the town can also be seen earlier in David's day as the Philistines placed a garrison in the town in 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 14. However, apparently by the time of the prophet Micah, the town's importance had dwindled. Though the prophet declared in Micah chapter 5 verse 2 that it would be in Bethlehem that the Messiah would be born. This interpretation of this prophecy is confirmed in both Matthew chapter 2 verses 5 to 6 and John chapter 7 verse 42. When the Jews of Jesus' day, priests and commoners, clearly understood that the Messiah would come from Bethlehem in Judah. The New Testament then records in detail the fulfillment of Micah's prophecy in Matthew chapter 2 and Luke chapter 2 with the birth of Jesus and the many events surrounding it which took place in and around Bethlehem in Judah. Because the modern city of Bethlehem is situated on top of the ancient city there is therefore little opportunity to excavate the ancient biblical city underneath. The major focus of archaeological investigations at the city have been in and around the traditional site of the Nativity of Christ, known as the Church of the Nativity. This structure is built on top of a cave that is believed by many to be the place where Jesus was born, based upon both tradition and statements coming from church fervors such as Justin Martyr in the 2nd century AD, Origen in the 3rd century AD and Jerome in the 4th century AD. In fact Jerome lived close to this cave and died in Bethlehem and it was at Bethlehem that he translated the Latin Vulgate. The Bible does not state if Jesus was born in a cave or not. Though there is evidence of ancient houses in the area of Bethlehem sometimes having incorporated natural caves into their structure for different reasons such as additional storage. So it is at least a possibility that a cave might have been used by Mary and Joseph while Jesus was born. The first church structure that was built on the traditional site was erected in the 4th century AD by the Emperor Constantine 
and the site, which is the oldest surviving church structure in Israel, has had a long and interesting history since it was first built. Very close to Bethlehem is the site of one of Herod the Great's impressive palace fortresses, known as the Herodium, which is visible today from Bethlehem and would have been present and visible from the town during the events of Jesus' birth and early life. Hopefully we will discuss this structure in a future video in this series. There are also two possible sites, one Catholic and one Greek Orthodox, which are close to Bethlehem that are believed, based upon later tradition, to have been the site where the angels visited the shepherds on the night of Christ's birth. Though the Bible does not give details as to where exactly this event took place around Bethlehem. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.